Welcome back this morning. There are big questions about the future of the city of Buffalo Animal Shelter and concern about the care of animals housed there. I went to the shelter this week to see things for myself after speaking with volunteers, listening to a man who rescues dogs and a city lawmaker. There really wasn't much of a bright side in these conversations and one went as far as calling conditions abusive. I should warn you, some of what you're about to see might be a little graphic and unsettling. How would you describe the city animal shelter? Broken. Inside the city of Buffalo Animal Shelter, this one dog paces around in circles, smearing its own feces all over the floor of its cage. Lacey, this brown dog up for adoption, has urine and feces pooling and piled on her bed. This dog, sick with kennel cough, kept in the same room with other dogs. It's disgusting. All the kennels are filthy at all times of the day. Any random time, it, it is a horror show in there. Jake Jablonski rescues dogs found on city streets and brings them to the shelter, which he says is falling apart. It's too overfull, it is dirty, and you, the volunteers are the only people who really maintain the place. Do you feel the city of Buffalo Animal Shelter is sufficiently managed? No. It's been borderline abandoned and forgotten about by the city of Buffalo. I have witnessed it myself. I toured it and I'm going to take responsibility to make sure that something happens here. Needless to say, you are not impressed. It's substandard. Council member Mitch Nowakowski called the facility decrepit, putting forward an official resolution calling on leaders to immediately address any or all of the shelter's most urgent structural health and safety deficiencies. In an email sent to a shelter volunteer obtained by the 7 News I team, Nowakowski writes, quote, I believe this has been overlooked for way too long. Why? has it been overlooked for way too long. I really think that it's been overlooked because oftentimes when you don't have any resources or you don't have surpluses, then you just have everyone fighting for everything else. Uh, and this hasn't been brought to the forefront. Part of it is, uh, you know, the responsibility of department heads and directors to bring uh, alleviate these concerns. That email came after Nowakowski toured the facility earlier this month, a request from people on the inside. <laughs> And on the inside, there is anger and frustration. Your entire job is to care for these animals, and they're just not being cared for. Nowakowski says there needs to be a new facility and is calling on the city to start looking into that feasibility and wants a status update from the shelter by the end of the month. The city of Buffalo says the animal shelter was just inspected by the State Department of Agriculture and Markets and received a passing grade and that the city is in the process of getting a new facility, Katie.